the topic is cantilever beam consider a question given like this a cantilever beam of 4 meter long carries UDL UDL means uniformly distributed load is called as UDL of 30 kN per meter over half of length adjoining the free end draw shear force SFD means shear force BMD means bending moment diagram so cantilever beam of length 4 meter so using pencil scale draw a beam called a cantilever beam So this is called the left end of the beam, it's a fixed end indicated like this. It's a symbolic representation of a cantilever beam and this is the free end, free end of the beam. And the low beam is subjected to UDL, UDL means uniformly distributed load over half of its length, I tell you the free end. So length of the beam is given as a 4 meter. So 4 meter, half of the 4 will be 2 meter, so 2 will be this much, so it's just approximately not to scale, not to scale means not follow the actual dimension, approximately it represents like this, so 2 meter, adjoint is the free end, this is the free end of the beam, so half of its length is carries UDL, uniformly distributed load is indicated by symbol like this. This is UDL load, uniformly distributed load. Value is given as 30 kN per meter. UDL value is 30 kN per meter. This is a UDL value given. So shear force calculation is ordered for this. Shear force indicated by short form, that is SF at B. So from the free end we will calculate the shear force values. So they, let this be the fixed end A, this is a free end B, this is center of the beam at the distance of adjoining the free end CB, 2 meter. So shear force at uh, point B. Point B there is no point load. So UDL only is available for the length CB. So no load at point B, so we we'll put a 0. Next is shear force at point C, next point is a C point. So before this calculation, we are going to work out a sign convention for this, as we done for previous problems. So sign convention is followed. Sign convention that is a load negative sign. Load load means we will always act downward. It's called as load. It may be point load or concentrated load. So load is considered as load downward force. It's called it's considered as a negative. Understand? So here this is uniformly distributed load, it's a one type of load. Eh? For example, this is a beam, means it's a length AB, AB cantilever, this is a fixed length, this is a free end of the beam. And if I place this marker like this, see you can understand that it is for this length of the marker, the load of the weight of the marker is uniformly distributed for this much length. This is an example for UDL. So shear force at point C. See, what is a load act is a UDL load, uniformly distributed load. For this, we are going to follow a formula for this. So, UDL value. So, UDL value is multiplied with UDL length. So, UDL value is given as 30 kN. UDL length is 2 meter. UDL value into UDL length. So it's a load and downward it acts. So we put a minus sign for this. As per sign convention, which you follow, minus 30 into 2 will be minus 60 kilonewton. So how I put it kilonewton? So 30 unit of 30 is kilonewton meter. UDL value, UDL value unit is kilonewton meter per meter. Numerator kilonewton, denominator meter. It is given to the question itself, kilonewton meter. It's multiplied with UDL length. UDL length will, when, I mean unit is meter. So the meter meter cancels leaving kilonewton. So I put kilonewton minus 60 kilonewton. Understand? So also you can know that shear force is a force. Force unit of force is newton or kilonewton. Here it is given in terms of kilonewton. So we put put my kilonewton. Okay. Next next point is a A point. Shear force at A. 
a is equal to so shear force means it's accumulation of forces that is algebraic sum of forces so previous value what you obtain is minus 60 minus 60 will remain the same at point a also because there is no load between a c whatever load up to point c that will be remains constant for a also because there is no load between a and the point c no load okay so these are shear force calculations on now i'm going to draw a shear force diagram for this so using your pencil draw lighter lines lighter vertical lines like this using pencil and the scale so using these vertical lines we will draw shear force diagram and bending moment diagram also so shear force at a point b is zero so it's a shear force diagram is a graphical representation followed like this so this will be your x axis this will be minus x axis this will be origin called 0 comma 0 so above the origin will be the y axis this will be y axis plus y positive y axis below this origin will be negative y axis minus y so along the y axis i'm going to plot shear force values called the sf shear force if I plus means it will come above the origin negative means it will come below the origin 0 comma 0 the x axis denotes the length of the beam this length will be 2 meter, this will be 2 meter, the entire length from here to here will be 4 meter. Okay. So shear force at point B is 0. So 0 will come on the axis itself. Next the shear force at the point C will be minus 60. So minus 60 means it will come negative y axis. Y axis we take in shear force values. So minus 60. Next the shear force at point A is given as minus 60. So minus 60 will remain constant. So minus 60. Okay. So, whenever UDL is, is there in the beam, you have to remember, whenever UDL is there, there you will get inclined line in the shear force diagram, inclined line. So, connect is 0, this B point, it is 0, and here one horizontal line will come. Okay. And this is the area of shear force diagram, indicated by small this is the area denoted like this. So negative. Shear force area is negative. So we put a minus sign inside the uh, box. Okay. So also you can remember that whenever UDL is there, you will get shear force diagram. It's the inclined line. And whenever there is no load in the beam. So between A and C there is no load. So you will get a horizontal line. Whatever value remains uh, obtained previous to A. C that will remain the same at A also because there is no load between A and the point C. This diagram is called SFD, shortly written as SFD called the shear force diagram. Unit forward is kilo newton. So the 60 is 60 and in terms of kilo newton that it uh, represents. Next is the bending moment calculation. So I let me erase this part. So bending moment calculation. So bending moment BM shortly written as BM 
at the free end this is free end of the beam first we consider as point b bending moment at b is equal to zero because there is no point load no there is no load acting but udl is there udl is distributed for cb length so that we don't consider at the free end if it is point load means we will consider so here they will need not to consider so here for the point b will be zero next point is a bending moment at next is the c point so at the c is equal to so before that we going to work out sign convention for this sign convention sign convention the sign convention so there are two types of moments one is clockwise moment and another one is anti clockwise moment clockwise moment we consider as negative clockwise moment that is this is the direction of clockwise clockwise is considered as negative understand so that means anti clockwise moment is considered as positive so bending moment at the c we going to consider so before c before c point what are the various load that acts is there only one load that is udl uniformly distributed load so we going to follow a formula for this it's written as minus w l square by 2 this is a formula for udl for bending moment when udl is there we you going to use this formula for w l square by 2 where w represents this is a small w where this w represents udl udl value and l denotes this small l denotes udl length udl length understand so udl value is given as so that i put it here udl value is 30 kN per meter understand so 30 so minus sign put because this is going to be clockwise moment force into this is a load acting into distance is perpendicular distance so it's a clockwise moment minus so i put minus sign minus 30 into udl length is given as 2 meter this 2 meter so 2 square that is 2 into 2 this l square means 2 into 2 by 2 value will be so 2 to cancel leaving minus 60 leaving minus 60 kilo newton meter so how i get this kilo newton meter because basically it's a moment the moment unit of moment is force into perpendicular distance unit of force that is load is kilo newton so how i got this kilo newton again further i can explain like this so unit of 30 30 is udl value so kilo newton per meter it is given in the question itself per meter udl value that's unit huh? next udl length square that is l square l square unit of udl length is meter udl length in unit is meter so meter into meter meter square so into meter so one meter this meter meter cancel living kilo newton meter so kilo newton meter that's right so this is value at point is c Next bending moment at the point A. Next point is A point. Bending moment at A is equal to. So the bending moment is at point A. So in between A and C, there is no load act. There is no point or no UDL. Only there is only one load that is UDL is acting between C and the point B. So now we consider the bending moment at point A. So point A we are going to use a special formula for this. It's called uh, WL square by the same formula. In addition to this, we are going to use WL into remaining length. That is, I write it like right like this. Minus WL square by 2 minus W so that is UDL value into L into remaining length. remaining length 
So where this W means UDL value, small w is UDL value, L means small L means UDL length. Same here it also comes. W UDL value, UDL length. Remaining length means what? Up to point A, what is the remaining length apart from UDL? This this is the length, remaining length. So what will be this value in the diagram? It will be 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2 will be 2 meter. So totally adding the length, 2 plus 2 will be 4 meter. I think we can check. So here, WL square by 2, WL into remaining length. So this moment is clockwise moment. So for clockwise moment, is going to find for, for a negative sign. So minus W, unit of W is kilometer meter, that is UDL value. W means UDL value, L means UDL length. So 30 into UDL length square, 2 into 2 by 2. So UDL length is 2 times, that is L square. Next, minus, this is direct UDL effect, this can be considered as direct UDL effect, this can be considered as indirect UDL effect. Understand? So minus, W, w means UDL value, 30, UDL length is, the small L is UDL length, 2 meter, into remaining length, up to point A, what is the remaining length, apart from UDL, is 2 meter. So 2, close the bracket, so 2, 2 cancel, leaving minus 60, minus 120 so you will get a minus 180 kilo newton unit is must you have to put the unit properly it carries marks kilo newton meter understand so now we are plot, going to plot the uh, what is called as uh, bending motor diagram it's also a graphical representation so as we follow for shear force this is positive x-axis this is negative x-axis this is 0, 0, this is approximately going to draw this diagram, not to scale, NTS, this is not to scale means, not a dimension is followed, actually what is there in the given the question. This is positive y axis, this, below this axis, uh, origin will be minus y axis, minus y. Okay, next point B, what is the value value one value? 0, 0 will come in the axis itself. Let's say point C, the value is minus 60. So trace is point C. So we put a 60 at here. Minus 60. So 60 will come in the y axis, negative y axis. So we plot below the origin like this. Let's say point A, what is the value? Minus 180. Minus 180. So now I'm going to join 0 with the point B with the point C. So this is the point. Then the C with the A, 180, minus 180. So also you must remember that uh, whenever there is inclined line in the shear force diagram, you will get a parabolic curve in the bending moment diagram. This is bending moment diagram which I am going to draw. We will have parabolic curve like this. Understand? So whenever there is horizontal line in the shear force diagram, you will get an inclined line in the bending moment diagram. That is the difference. So inclined line. And you can join this. This is the area of bending moment diagram. It's in the fourth quadrant. See, first, second, third, fourth quadrant. So, I mean, uh, this is indicated by that the hatch lines or section lines like this. This is the area of bending moment diagram. It's negative. So, put a minus sign inside the box. This is the area diagram. It's called the bending moment diagram, shortly written as BMD. Unit followed is kilo newton meter this minus 60 minus 180 represents in terms of meter that is kilo newton meter that i have written yeah thank you thank you for listening